All right, guys, today we're gonna to be putting this Gravely 52 inch residential lawnmower through the ultimate test. Not only are we gonna be mowing wet, tall grass like you see in the background, but we're gonna do something a lot more brutal than that. We're gonna let my 13 year old son run it. This could be interesting. Okay, so our first test is we're gonna rev it up and just fire the PTO and see if she'll engage in this super tall grass. All the way up, rev it up and go. Okay, for one, you're mowing too fast. Sorry. Two, you gotta let me be able to keep up with you. Okay? Okay. Engage your PTO. I gotta give it to him though, mowing this tall grass along the roadside was all his idea. So some people will say, what's the point of mowing tall grass? Well, actually, I think there's a lot of points to mowing tall grass, and there's a lot of things that can be told by how well a mower handles tall grass because it's really hard on the mower itself. Tall grass puts a big strain on that engine, and you can hear that this engine hums along perfectly. There's no lack of power in this thing. Look at the cut quality he's leaving behind. This is a residential lawnmower. This grass is wet. It rained the entire day right before we shot this. In fact, I'm gonna back this video up to that day in just a moment. I know, I think there's wood in here. Is there wire between there? Tell me. No, it's clear. Oh, Gotta start your blades. Start your PTO. I am, I just wanna not do it in the dirt. Okay. Okay, so we'll mow over here a little bit more. No, right here is good. Hey, right here. Start over. Okay, go ahead. The boy wants to start over. Hey, rev it up. Rev it up. 
Your PTO is engaged. Keep your I motor know. high. Don't idle it down with the PTO engaged. Okay. Turn the PTO off or leave it in, leave it high to lie. don't do this good of a job that's that's a really good cut barely any skips yeah, it was fun to cut too. all right let's head back huh? it's raining out I mean it's not like raining a little bit it's raining out and where's Frankie mowing the lawn <laughs> there he is mowing the lawn he loves working outside. Rain, shine. I think he likes it better when it's raining out. I don't know. It actually lays pretty good stripes for being as wet as it is. So when I test something, there's a couple things that I like to make sure to do, and that's have a few people run it to get their input, and then also do the test of time. Now I haven't been able to do the test of time yet, but that video is coming out, so make sure you guys stick I around. Think the controls on this mower are just buttery smooth. Uh, probably the smoothest controls I've ran of any mower, to be honest with you. Commercial or residential. But let's actually ask Frankie what he thinks when he's finally done mowing in the rain. I 
remember the first time that I seen this. Here's a scoop, you guys. I've wanted to do a review on a... Look at Frankie, he's so happy. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I've wanted to do a review on a residential mower for a long time. I only have commercial mowers and two super crappy residential mowers that I could not give a recommendation to. I wouldn't do it to somebody I hate. I wouldn't want them to buy them. And uh, so I reached out to Gravely and I said, can I do a review on your guys' mower? And when I first showed up, I didn't think that was a, a residential mower. I honestly did not think that was a residential mower. I thought that was just a smaller commercial unit. All right, Frankie, I don't want to put words in your mouth. What do you think of that? Well, uh, the other day when I mowed your your yard or whatever, I like it. it, it I can I can maneuver that better than I can the stand-up ones. I, but I'm not used to the stand-up ones either, though. Right. You know, I, I, you know, I've dove the stand-up ones as much as I've dove the sit-down ones. But I think I myself can control these better. Okay. I noticed that the controls on this are buttery smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. I mean, like you say, though, I haven't ran that many of them, but... I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, I mean of, of any more I've ever ran my entire life, commercial, anything, the controls, those lap bar controls are probably the smoothest I've ever put my hands oh, on. Really? Yeah. And Sweet. these are by far probably the best controls. What else do you think about this thing? I like, I, I like it. Um, it's the, you know, the uh, lowering the um, deck was, is nice. You know, just got to you use your foot instead of your hand, you know, lowering them. Can you demonstrate that once yeah. for us? That works pretty soon. Lock it up. And it locks automatically up, doesn't yep. it? Yep. When you lower it down, you gotta lift up the or pull back, I guess. Mm-hmm. The parking brake too, another thing I noticed, you see that parking brake? That's the way parking brake should be. Right. I mean, I don't want to be a big giant fanboy of this thing, but I, that's kind of a pet peeve, like these parking brakes put in stupid spots that don't make sense. Um, like the whole uh, layout too. I love this choke. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but it's just a pull. Everything, choke. everything's right here, you know. Yeah. Everything's. Okay. Do you notice anything missing? There's no for gas. You know, yeah. No. no yeah. There's no fuel yeah. gauge. No fuel gauge. Pop the seat up. I want to show these guys how you tell how much fuel you have. There oh, you go. Oh, see through. Yep, see through tank. Oh, I was looking in the deal. <laughs> yep, so you can see exactly. Let's shake it a little bit. So you can see exactly where your fuel is that way. Battery is, la is nicely laid out underneath there. Yeah, and um, what's nice too, uh, you don't go nowhere unless your parking brake is down. You know, you can't, you know, even when you're, when you're sitting in there. Mm -hmm. these, these are locked also when you parking brake so you can't you can't do no can't so these move. are adjustable as well so for bigger guys or whatever you can slide them up and down now i noticed you getting off these this deck yeah this is a pretty heavy duty damn deck you guys yeah yeah i mean i mean the way you got it set up it looks like you're supposed to use the front yeah you know? but no Oh no, they got a foot thing. They got a foot thing there. Right. Step on that deck once. Let's watch it wiggle. Let's step on it and jump up and down on it. Look at the front wheels. Yeah. This thing is actually built a little bit like a tank. It's, yeah, it's heavy duty. I mean, this is actually, I, I think technically this is the best selling lawnmower in America, residential lawnmower oh. in America. I think. Um, the guys, the guys at the shop that I was talking to say they sell a dozen of them uh they sell 12 of these for every one john deere they sell really yep is that crazy is that a crazy stat or what that was just a conversation i was having with one of the guys yeah. oh you clean the garage holy crap frankie well i got all that other stuff out of there it's scrapped you know whatever these are gone i took these out i was gonna take that one thing home yet and this time i can still take over to the scrap 
So happy 4th of July, right? Yep. <laughs> nice and wet. So this actually has, um, so the difference between residential and commercial is rollover protection. Oh, okay. So this uses the, the same frame as their commercial series of mowers. It uses a smaller engine, so the engine won't be as durable as the commercial unit, but there's a lot of the same engineering built into the mowers that are designed to go five to 10,000 hours. So the yeah. engine is gonna be one of the things that's different. This is this is kind of like the resident, but you're also saving about 50% or yeah. more, right? Okay. And rollover protection, but this one actually has the ability. You can add it, right? Yep, you can add it right here. So okay. you can add that. So a lot of little this things. Is, this like, is good. I mean, yeah. I mean if, you, if you do own some land or some hillside, you might wanna put one on. Oh yeah, there's gonna be times where guys buy a residential mower and they want that protection, so. So my son wanted to use the lawnmower and I gave him the go ahead and what I found is he was just kind of driving around in this very random way. He wasn't really mowing with a pattern, he was just kind of mowing wherever he seen a long piece of grass. So I tried to straighten him out and tell him what a pattern was and it got better, but he was still missing huge chunks of yard so I came up with another idea on a way of getting them to do it right. All right, let's try a different way because the things I'm saying don't seem to be sinking in yet. So, somebody's out having fun. I have a different kind of fun. Ah, jet skis are fun, but so are lawnmowers. All right, boy. Hey, boy. All right, boy. Let's try, I'm gonna challenge you. Oh. I'm gonna challenge you to mow this area right here from the cabin to the lake shore without missing any grass, but without also cutting it twice. So that means I want you to slow down. I want oh. you to pick a pattern and I don't want you to cut over any area a second time. That means I don't want you to miss a spot. Instead of going in a line, hey, instead of going in a line back and forth, do a perimeter mow. Try that. So that means you outline your area, so you go around the outside of it, and then you keep going in an ever-winding circle to oh, the middle. I've done that. Okay, give that a shot. All right, guys, I honestly have no clue what my son is doing here. It's like he's being chased by bumblebees and trying to run away from them while on the lawnmower and cutting grass at the same time. I don't get it. Although my son has a long way to go in learning how to mow grass, the lawnmower itself performed amazingly, way beyond my expectations for what a lawnmower should or could do. So I wanted to get this engine to bog down and the tall grass across the road didn't work. So we're gonna mow water. Yep. Let's listen to how this performs when we really put this engine to the test. Now you can tell I hit this exact spot quite a few times just by the mud tracks and I'll save you the boring details and just fill you in on it right now. This engine just handles it. No problems whatsoever. Yes, it bobs down, but it always pops right back. Very impressive. All right, you guys. Well. I learned a lot of things while I was putting this mower through its paces today. One of the things that impressed me the most is it's just buttery smooth. Even though it's a residential mower, a lot of the qualities about it and features really remind me of a higher grade commercial lawnmower. Now I know some of you guys have run, run Gravely stuff. Put it in the comments down below. And one last thing, you guys, do me a favor and check out these other two videos that I'm going to put right here. God bless you guys. Go get it.